Next, we're going to talk about how to interact with the properties palette. Let's open up exercise 02, condounit.rbg file. Okay. Now, for example, if we just pick on any wall here, all right, and then if you look under the properties palette here, and then we click on that, you will find that there are a few types of wall that we can easily select and change. Now, for example, this is interior 125 partition, one hour. This is, I guess, it's trying to say it's 135 mm thick partition wall, which is one hour. So let's say if we were to change this one, if we were to change this wall, a 155 mm thick partition two hour. You notice that the wall has now become better and thicker. And we can easily change it to something else. Okay, for example, soffit 50 GWB and metal stud here. So this what makes uh very, very powerful is its ease of change in this case. So we can easily make changes to the plans and the drawings without, unlike AutoCAD, having to do a lot of line work amendments and so on. All right, for this part. Next, let's try to see what kind of changes we can make also, all right, using the properties tab. So let's go to South Elevation. Let's go to the browser, the project browser on the left, and double click on South. Okay. If we were to zoom in here, we will begin to see there are two types of windows here. All right. Now, we can make changes to both of them all at once, just by simply selecting the windows. And you see down here, if we were to click on one item, it will tell us case hey, so double with trim, 72 inch by 48 inch. If we select the right one, it will be bay window, 45%, 20 degrees, complex, 84 inches. Now, what we can do is we can perhaps, let's try selecting both of them. Now, to add on to selection in Revit, we will have to hold the control key and click on the next item here. And to zoom in, we will roll the middle mouse button upwards. And to zoom out, we will roll the middle mouse button downwards. All right. And we can perhaps try to change it to some a different type. So I would go to the properties tab and click on the drop down list here and look for perhaps 24 by 48 inch. This type. Okay, under the fixed category here, 24 by 48. Now notice the moment I've done that, both windows have changed. Okay. Now let's go back to the level one plan here again. All right, and let's double click to open it up. Now, if we can also do multiple selection all at once. All right, we can do the selection by having a window selection this way. Okay, so if I were to go top left hand corner and then drag my mouse down to the lower right hand corner, this will be a window selection. All right, so if you notice, the walls on these two ends are not selected, okay? 
Now, when we go to the properties tab here, and we click on the drop down list, we will find that we have selected six items altogether, but we can further break down the selections as well. See, it's showing us one door is selected, three plumbing fixture, two walls, and it's inside floor plans, okay? So if you look at these now, all right, one door, three fixtures, and two walls. So that will add up to the six items to be selected here. Okay. Now let's say I only want to deal with, let's say, the, the walls. All right. Then I will be able to make changes to just the walls itself being changed. Okay, notice here, let me show you again. I would window select it, and I'll just look on, let's say, the walls, and I can change the walls to, this time I'll make it something more visible, all right? Let's say generic 300. You notice everything else stays the same, but the walls can be changed immediately.